women who have babies after the age of 35, like, God, it's so inappropriate, but like, I'll say it, we have them geriatric pregnancies, like, my God, how horrendous, like, you're some, like, old bearded witch. But like, it just means, like, advanced maternal age. Like, things start to happen that are consequences to both the pregnancy, the mom, and the baby after the age of 35. But for breast cancer risk, it's actually around 25, maybe 30. Like, we haven't really decided what the real true threshold should be, but it's closer to 25, probably, where if you've had a baby, and like everybody's like, if you're a woman watching this, you're just like, but I had my baby at 27. Does that mean I'm going to get breast cancer? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying your risk is slightly increased one to two times more than women who didn't from your baseline. That if you had a baby for the first time after that age, your cells previous to that breast cells were really like robust. They did this thing called differentiation. They like really made themselves into these really strong versions that were kind of like resistant to mutating and turning into cancers. After the age of 25, that doesn't seem to happen anymore. And you get more likely these like mutations where it's more likely for it to turn over into other things like cancer cells later on in life as a result of that. And the older you are after the age of 25, the more kind of harmful it is in this way. <laughs>